Did Jesus exist? Historical evidence of Jesus beyond the Bible. The New Testament speaks clearly, affirming that there is one God and one intermediary between God and humanity, Christ Jesus, himself human, who gave himself as a ransom for all. John P. Meyer asserted decades ago, Biblical evidence for Jesus is biased because it is encased in a theological text written by committed believers implying that early Christians may have lied about Jesus. So, did Jesus exist? Amateur atheists reply with a resounding no, whereas most folk shrug their shoulders, nobody knows, whilst embarrassed believers avoid both the question and secular history. Historian Lawrence Mercutiope has compiled evidence of the historical Jesus, citing references in ancient literature written by three non-Christians. The Roman Tacitus, the Jewish Josephus, and the Greek Lucian. A Roman historian, Caius Cornelius Tacitus, Circa 55 to 118 CE. Early in his career, Tacitus was proconsul of Asia. He became one of Rome's most careful historians. Tacitus wrote his last major work, titled Annals, between 116 and 117 CE. He relates how, in 64 CE, during a fire in Rome, Emperor Nero tried to shift the blame to Christians. This was an occasion for Tacitus to mention Christians and their founder, whom he despised. Quos per flagitia invisus vulgus Christianus appellabat. Whom the crowd called Christians. The founder of this name, Christ, had been executed in the reign of Tiberius by the procurator Pontius Pilate. A Jewish priest, Flavius Josephus, circa 37 to 100 CE. Josephus grew up in Palestine. While serving as a commander in the first Jewish revolt, 66 to 70 CE, he surrendered to Roman commander Vespasian. Transported to Rome, he wrote two extensive histories in Greek extolling the virtues of Judaism for the Romans. In his book titled Jewish Antiquities, Josephus made two references to Jesus. One text reads, Encatizai Sinedrium Criton Cai Paragegon Eis Autoton Adelphon Iesu Toulegomenu Christo. So he assembled the Sanhedrin of judges and brought before them the brother of Jesus, who is called Christ, the other text, accepting John P. Meyer's removal of later Christian glosses, reads, Ginetai decata tuton ton cronon Iesus sophos aner, cae auton endeixei ton proton andron paremen stauro iepiteti mecotos pilatu uc. Around this time there lived Jesus, a wise man. When Pilate, upon hearing him accused by men of the highest standing amongst us, had condemned him to be crucified. A Greek satirist, Lucian of Samosata, circa 115 to 200 CE, whilst writing about the death of Peregrinus, who died in 165 CE, a former Christian become a cynic, Lucian made two references to Jesus without naming him. In one paragraph, Lucian wrote, Meta gu nekei non on eti sebusiton anthropon ton antei palaistinei anascolopistenta. The Christians, you know, worship a man to this day, the distinguished personage who introduced their novel rites and was crucified on that account. Lucian continued, 
ton de aneskolopisme non eke non sofissen autom proskainosin kai katato usekin un homus biosin. That they are all brothers, from the moment that they were converted, and deny the gods of Greece, and worship the crucified sage, and live after his laws. These three authors, taken together, seem to support the following points about the historical Jesus. 1. He existed as a man. 2. His personal name was Jesus. 3. His followers called him Christ. 4. He was a brother of James. 5. He had both Jewish and Greek followers. 6. Some contemporary leaders had unfavorable opinions of him. And 7. The Romans crucified him during Pontius Pilate's governorship of Judea between 26 and 36 CE, whilst Tiberius was emperor between 14 and 37 CE. Other ancient writers who made apparent allusions to Jesus include the following. Greek Platonist philosopher Celsus, in the 2nd century CE, asserted in his discourse on the true doctrine around 176 CE that, quote, Jesus performed his miracles by sorcery, unquote. Roman governor of Bithynia and Pontus, Gaius Plinius Calcius Secundus, called Pliny the Younger, 61 to 113 CE, in his letter to Trajan, written about 111 CE, described how he arrested and executed Christians who, he noted, quote, sing hymns to Christ as to a god, unquote. Roman lawyer Gaius Seotunius Tranquillus, circa 69 to 122 CE, may refer to Jesus in his work, Lives of the Twelve Caesars, when he writes, about 49 CE, quote, Since the Jews constantly made disturbances at the instigation of Christus, he, Emperor Clodius, expelled them from Rome. And the pagan Syriac Stoic, Marbar Serapion, taken prisoner by the Romans, possibly as early as 72 CE, wrote to his son in Syriac, quote, What advantage did the Jews gain by executing their wise king? It was just after that their kingdom was abolished. Unquote. 